Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to be talking about Cloud's FR weapon now that it dropped in JP Default. Now the gameplay that you are seeing is of course showcasing Cloud with his brand new FR weapon. Why I think it's actually a really good FR weapon, especially for Cloud himself. Uh, I paired him up with Setzer and with Aerith. Aerith, of course, for the support and the instant turn rate with her FR Echo. And then with Setzer, Setzer to disable the enemy's uh, FR uh, whenever it does activate. And Setzer's FR Echo actually works really well with uh, Cloud, uh, giving me a 100% increase on the HP damage bonus, which I was actually pretty surprised, but I will not complain. Now, when it comes to the conditions with Cloud, uh, his first one being that you have to deal critical brave damage. That is very easy for Cloud and most and most uh, characters nowadays. Uh, if anything, like you can easily use call abilities to grant yourself the critical hits rate buff or just an aura so that, that way you are able to meet set conditions in case you are in those type of fights where you cannot break the enemy. Well, with those call abilities or just like and maybe, maybe even characters in the team that provide that, then you'll be able to uh, handle that condition with ease. Now the second one being that you need to attack an enemy or whenever you're attacking an enemy they need to have a can a cannot act debuff active so paralysis any any type of debuff that makes it so that they are unable to act whatsoever will count towards that second condition now with cloud he does have the ability to paralyze the enemy the good thing about it though with cloud and one of the changes that maybe some of you guys may not know about is that with Cloud, every time that you are dealing a critical hit, uh, you do get access to his overhead for three turns, which in turn does grant him the ability to use the plus version of his skill one, which will guarantee you to uh, inflict the paralysis debuff onto the enemy. Unless, of course, the enemy has a mechanic where it prevents you from paralyzing, but that's, that's a different story. So, with that being said, though, you pretty much, like, guarantee, or you practically guarantee to always be able to inflict the enemies with the paralysis debuff, which is great. Um, now, whenever his FR, whenever you use his FR ability, um, it does delay all targets by two turns before the last HP attack, and it also launches them, which is very, really nice. What would have been a very nice add-on to his FR attack would have been if it also inflicted paralysis onto the enemy, because that way you wouldn't have to worry about inflicting paralysis if you do actually let the enemy act. But you could, of course, always use cross slash plus to inflict paralysis beforehand before you use his uh, FR ability, and then you'd be good to go. Now, while the FR is active, whenever anybody in the team is dealing a critical hit, it does grant the party with a 50% HP damage up and a 50% HP damage cap up, which is nasty. Like, there, there have been previous FRs like Machina, uh, Rydia is one of them, where it does offer, depending on what condition, it does actually offer a 50% HP damage cap up increase. But with Cloud, when you add up all the numbers together on what Cloud has to himself, so to himself, he does get a 80% HP damage cap up increase while his BT effect is active. And then you got that 50% or that additional 50% from his FR, that is 130% right there. Then you also want to add in the 25% increase from from uh, from having his, uh, his armor blued out, so high armor plus. So that right there is a 150%, oh, excuse me, a 155% HP damage cap up to himself and then if you add the the ultima weapon which you know more than likely you're gonna have one on him um then that's an additional 40 percent so in total cloud will be having a 195 percent hp damage cap up to himself so his damage output has just soared while you have his FR active and his BT at the same time. And you're going to notice that during the BT phase with Cloud, I am literally doing some very strong damage. And of course, we do have Setsa's BT effect, which does offer a 70% chance of hitting the HP damage cap up. Uh, but like in general though, like even if he did not have Setsa, best believe Cloud is going to have some very strong overall damage 
uh, and especially with the rework that he got, I mean, his skill, you more than likely going to be using his skill too because of the fact that it, ha it has 9 HP attacks uh, from the rework that he just got. Like, overall, like, Cloud got such a massive upgrade that I honestly think, like, he, like, his FR is well worth chasing for for any global players who, who keep up with JP content and are uh, trying to, like, you know, plan out their, their future FR pools. Then uh, Cloud's FR is actually one to 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 really consider. And for those who have already greened them, I mean, you got yourself a very solid future investment uh, ahead of you. Now, uh, some may question because of the fact that Astos just came out uh, alongside with Cloud's rework, and some 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 players may just question like, you know, which one of the two you you would actually go for. And of course, like Astos right now is like the most busted DPS character we have in JP, and. Some may wonder, like, well, you know, there's no point of pulling for Cloud because we have Astos. Well, you know, I mean, if, if you want to pull for favorites, you know, like myself, then, you know, you you can go uh, for Cloud. But, like, you, for me, myself, as a player, like, I don't always want to constantly play with the same characters over and over. I like having a, a variety of characters uh, to, to play around with. And, yeah. Astos is a very busted character currently in JP, and we don't know what fights are going to be coming up uh, in the new future, and especially with Anniversary coming up, and with the announcement of the new uh, enhanced, what is it, empowering item that they uh, that they said was going to be coming to the game. Like, we don't know exactly what's going to be coming up, so as of right now, he is the most busted character in general, but for Cloud himself, with the upgrades that he has, with the strong utility that he that, that he has within his kit, being able to delay, being able to launch, uh, being able to paralyze, being able to dispel if you have his Ward of Illusions weapon, uh, weapon passive active on him. I mean, Cloud just becomes such a strong, versatile character that, that I mean, like, you, you got a lot going on for, for, for one character to have this much overall. And with that insane HP damage cap that you ha that he has n in total like i mean <laughs> it's a, you're asking for like a, a huge like a you got a lot going on for just one character is really what i'm what i'm trying to say though so like overall very ha i'm very happy even though like it did take me a good amount of resources to get his fr i'm very happy that i did manage to get it and now that we have the whole the entire package together i can only imagine what they are going to do with lightning seeing as how squall is very strong Cloud is very strong. I'm really hoping that by the time Lightning gets an FR at some point, they, 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 that they make her just as strong as Squall and uh, and Cloud. So here's the hoping that uh, that she gets a change later down the line, so that way we can talk about how you know she has like she like fell off so quickly because of like the increase in the um, the HP, uh, the enemies HP increase that we have had and. And uh, hopefully that'll change whenever she gets an FR. But overall, though, I'm very happy with what Cloud got. Very satisfied. Definitely going to be using him a whole lot more in future Shinryu fights. And, uh, I mean, I think that's that's pretty much it. I think I've pretty much covered everything that everybody needs to know. Uh, definitely well worth chasing for for anybody who uh, plays global and keeps up with uh, JP content. But uh, other than that, though, guys, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Do all that good stuff and a big thank you to my members, of course, for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one.